Um, really good effort from our team today. I thought they did an amazing job of being where their feet were um, instead of focusing on, um, you know, headed home this afternoon. I thought they really took care of business. Um, I know one of my favorite things that I learned um, that Coach Wooden would always say is, you know, you always want your team to go home with a smile at Christmas. So today I'm really excited that our team gets to go home with a smile at Christmas. I love the way they won the game today. Uh, it's always how you win, um, and I loved how they approached um, the opportunity today. Coach, can you talk about that third quarter? I don't know if you're aware, but it took them exactly eight minutes to even score a point in that third quarter. Can you talk about the defensive intensity in the game and, and even as the score started going more and more in your favor that your team didn't let its foot off the gas pedal? I think that's a sign of maturity and growth, you know, having that growth mindset to have the same um, – you know, energy on every single possession, not to play the score and not to play your opponent, opponent, but to play who you need to be and be about what you need to be about. And I thought we really did a good job with that today. Carly, another career high for you. Can you talk about heading into SEC play overall, just how you feel that you've settled in and how confident you are and how much that's grown throughout these recent games? Yeah, so each time that we've had this conversation, it's just the same thing that I keep saying. It goes to my teammates and the confidence that they have in me and the coaching staff, um, them finding – the players finding me for open shots and trusting that I'm going to knock it down. So that's where my confidence comes is um, the trust that I have from my teammates. Britt, you being one of the leaders of this team, one of the veterans of this team, how do you think that Carly has been doing so far? Uh, I think Carly's been doing great. Like I said um, in, in the interview before, Carly works hard every day, and um, I'm happy for her that it's paying off for her. I'm very happy for her. For, for both players, where do you feel that the team stands with a couple dominant wins this week heading into conference play? Where is the confidence? And when you get ready to face Georgia, you know, how do you feel that that's going to go, and where do you feel that the team's identity is? Just what Coach Curry says, be where our feet are. Each day is a new day, a new opportunity to learn and grow. And so just going into SEC play with the same mindset that we have non-conference, just wanting to be the best version of ourselves every day. Coach, another double-digit, uh, I guess, victory in the rebounding column. Can you talk about how you feel that the message of rebounding has, has sunk in with your players as the season has gone on? Well, it's definitely something that, you know, I think the kids have really taken to heart that, um, there were two points we just made to them. Um, you know, in SEC play, you have to defend and rebound. And secondly, the second point was to take care of the basketball. So today, you know, they had 19 first half turnovers and we didn't have a large rebound margin at the half. But a lot of that was because, you know, there weren't a lot of opportunities to rebound it. But I think in the end, the way we just continue to stay the course, you, you just, we just have to understand it's all about heart and hustle on the boards. And then, uh, the most important thing today, the, t the other categories, we had 23 assists on 35 baskets again and only nine turnovers. So a much better job just not being careless with the basketball today. So I thought we did our job. We got, got to work, um, and we started um, doing a much better job of understanding how to prize the boards and prize taking care of the ball. For all three, how important – did y'all feel the, that this stretch of games is for the team? You have a, a little bit of a home stand here before conference play and being able to kind of hone your craft against this competition at home to get ready for conference play? I, I think momentum is always important. But, you know, we divide our season into three parts, season one, and we just finished that with the 11 wins. Um, and then we have the opportunity to start a brand new season with season two. And um, then season three is the postseason. So we know season one has impacted our opportunity for season three in a positive way. We need to make sure conference play that, you know, we understand the importance of each and every day, each and every moment, each and every opportunity. Um, because, you know, nothing is promised. And we just need to make the most of each and every day to have a growth mindset continue to get better. Carly, how valuable has this experience been for you as you get ready to have your first conference season in college in one of the best leagues in the nation? It's definitely helped me, you know, any ball game before the big ball games help. So um, just being able to, again, just develop that confidence of um, my teammates, that's helped me to grow and have a little bit of confidence going into SEC play. Britt, how did you feel about your performance today and what are you looking forward to once you get back out there against Georgia? I felt good. I thought our team as a whole did good. And um Coming in SEC play, you know, just carrying in what we did from season one to season two and continue to get better each and every day. Coach, what are some of the things that you feel like your team has most improved on in the non-conference slate? 
Well, I feel like we've done a really good job of, um, especially the, the home stand here, of rebounding the ball better on both sides, offensively and defensively. And then, you know, something that this team continues to uh, just share the basketball, um, continue to find the open person, continue to have no hesitation and a one-second decision on dribble it, pass it, or shoot it. Um, but I just like our depth. I like who everyone's trying to be, and I think they're a really um, selfless group right now, and I think that's going to pay off come conference play. The margin for error, you know, it's going to be a game of mistakes, and it's about to be single digit. We're going to have to really understand the value of every single possession. You know, one stop on the defensive end and making sure that um, we take care of the ball on the offensive end. So as much as and as many people as we're playing, that sense of urgency with each and every one of them, I like who they're trying to be with their sense of urgency. Hey, thank y'all for coming out. Merry Christmas and Roll Tide.